Hello, in this video we're going to be using elasticities for predictions. We're going to determine the percent change in price from a percent shift in the demand curve. So I'll start with the formula for making those predictions. The percent change in price will equal the percent shift in the demand curve divided by the elasticity of demand where we're entering the elasticity of demand in absolute value so we're ignoring the minus sign on the elasticity of demand and then plus the elasticity of supply. Here's an example. Suppose the price elasticity of demand is minus 2 and the price elasticity of supply is 0 0.5. If demand increases, that is the demand curve shifts right by 10%, where all consumers are willing and able to buy 10% more of the good at any given price, what is the percent change in the price? So just using this formula, we have a 10% increase in the demand. The demand curve shifts right here by 10%. And we're going to plug in the price elasticity of demand in absolute value in the denominator plus the price elasticity of supply in the denominator. And so doing the math here, we get an answer of 4%. So price will rise by 4% in this scenario. This formula provides a better approximation when the percent shift in the demand curve is small. Now I want to show you how to derive this formula. So the derivation of the formula. We're going to use a constant elasticity of demand for this derivation and a constant elasticity of supply for this derivation. Even though elasticities do not change along constant elasticities of demand or constant elasticities of supply curves, this will still give us a good approximation if the percent change in demand or the percent change in supply is small. So the constant elasticity of demand, here the price elasticity of demand is going to be this minus E. And for the constant elasticity of supply, the price elasticity of supply will just be equal N. An increase in A over here in the demand equation shifts the demand curve right whereas an increase in B in the supply equation shifts the supply curve right. Equilibrium requires that the quantity demanded equal the quantity supplied. So setting those two equations on top equal to one another, we're going to now solve this for P. I'm going to divide through by B. So dividing through by B we get this result and then I'm going to move this P raised to the minus E into the denominator. And now I'm going to cross multiply moving this p raised to the exponent of e over to the right hand side and now we can add up the exponents on the right hand side giving us this result here and now we're going to raise both sides of the equation to one divided by the price elasticity of supply plus the price elasticity of demand and we'll get this result right here for convenience, we're going to let z equal the following, and I'm just reminding us here that E, the price elasticity of demand, goes in in absolute value. We're not going to plug in the minus for the price elasticity of demand. And so that simplifies to the following. And I want to take now the natural logs of both sides. and cleaning up the right hand side a little bit. Following the rules of natural logs we can write the right hand side like this. Now I want to take the total differential. So the derivative of the natural log of p is just 1 over p multiplied by the change in p then to get the total differential on the left hand side and then on the right hand side we get the derivative of the natural log of a is 1 over a that's being multiplied by z and then for the total differential we're going to multiply that by the change in a and then we do a similar thing here for the last term. Uh, we're not interested in shifting or moving the supply curve so we're going to just hold that constant so we're going to set the the change in the shift parameter for the supply curve equal to 0 this db equal to 0 so that's just going to drop out when everything here is multiplied by 0 and now note here that this term here reflects a percentage change in price. This term right here reflects a percentage shift in the demand curve. And as we said, z equals the following. 
So making our substitutions then, we do have the percent change in price equals Z multiplied by the percent shift in the demand curve, where Z is just going to be 1 over the elasticity of demand plus the elasticity of supply, where the elasticity of demand is entered in absolute value. Okay, that's it.